Let's talk foreign magic cards. So legend, it's a booster. And uh, we got the Stratelibri logo on it. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about this set and the, the first time that magic was introduced to Italy. But first, you know I got a mana drain, Italian legends. Let's inspect the cards like we always do. So, uh, okay, the scenery is quite good. Some edge things here, and uh, this corner here is not that great, you know, but uh, finally these guys have their ties as uh, near mint and they they fulfill their promise because yes, this is a near mint card, okay, um, surface is not perfect, but uh, you know near mint cards are not perfect, they're not gen mint, they're not pristine, so uh, surface, yeah, is okay. And uh, you know the edges are fine, no inking. Um, besides, you know the edges around here. So, uh, so the edges are not perfect, you know. But this is a great card, Mana Drain. So what, what it does, it's, it counters a spell. And then in your main phase, in your next main phase, you add X to your mana pool, where X is the mana cost of the neutralized spell. So awesome. Eureka. Yes, they had an idea, so... The Italian edition was the first foreign magic translation. It was launched at Luca Comics and Games, about 20,000 in attendance, and it was a success. The duelist recounts stories of friends hugging each other after pulling an Italian driven dragon and a royal assassin at the show, and that's cool. Um, so Stratelibri were the distributors of the Italian edition of Magic and uh, this convention featured Magic artists and uh, lots of games for everyone and La Dunanza won first prize, awesome! So they were trying to enchant the world, you know, trying to get Magic to... Uh, other destinations to other to a different public you know the non-english speaking one and uh you know that was a great start but legends was a little different came out a little later and it was released after italian the dark which was different from the order of the original ones you know because the dark was the last set in english and uh, Legends was released after Italian and the Dark Legend. It was released after the Dark. So, you know, Legends has like uh, 310 cards and introduced Enchant World, you know, like the Abyss that you just saw, and multicolored creatures and whatnot. And there were no Legend cards in the Italian Renaissance set. Which is this one that I'm holding, the Rinascimento, because the expansion had already been released. So, uh, no legends in Italian Renaissance. I got a little greedy and started buying Italian cards. Uh, you know, Italian legends and legends. It's one of my favorite sets, and although the Italian ones are cheaper, which is nice, I guess, 
Maybe because of the big print run. I find I find them to be classy and affordable. And 95 was a magical year, I guess. That's about when I began playing and Legend was released. So Mana Drain is like the most powerful counter spell ever. Or at least it's the most cost effective, I don't know. But um, it's a must if you're running blue, you know, if you're playing blue decks. And uh, since I'm building the deck, I had to include this Mana Drain, which I got for cheap. You wouldn't believe it, but uh, I got it for, for $50. Yes, a near mint. Italian Legends Mana Drain for 50 bucks, but yeah, there was a, I got a discount and stuff, but uh, you know I'm building the deck, it's gonna be ready soon, I'm gonna do some matches and uh, record them and let you guys see, we're almost at 100 subscribers, and when I do, I'm gonna open a box of Iconic Masters, okay, which has Mana Drain means the set uh, contains Mana Drain, so let's see if we can get there. And uh, you know, thank you so much for for watching. Thank you for your support. You guys rock. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go play some MTGO now or something. Guess that's it. So thank you and bye.